we recording? Are we recording yet? Oh, there's what? It's an Orpal. Recording! Oh, it's hot. Is it recording? Yeah, we're rolling. Hi, everyone. Oh, hey, everybody. Stop hitting the mic. I can't help it. I'm not used to this yet. All right. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, internet world. How's it going? My name is Mauro. And I'm Dan. And uh, this is Wiped Out Wednesday. Wiped Out Wednesday. This is where we drop the ball on. (laughs) Where we talk about animals that are no longer with us. Not even on the ball. (laughs) We're talking about extinct animals. Yeah, animals that are dead. But first... Oh. Tame, tame the beast. Vegan Robs, vegan, amazing. Vegan Robs. We will talk about them a lot. Uh, they're not sponsoring this. We just love them. Um, but yeah, speaking of things we love, <laughs> that's very crunchy. <laughs> speaking of things we love, everyone likes sharks. Oh come on, we're just going right into it. We, there's no banter. This is a short form. I thought we were gonna like build up to. No, 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 no. no these no. should be longer episodes. This is a lot of fun. No, 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 no. no. Wait, can I try this? What? Dun dun. Dun-na, 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 Megalodon. Dun-na. So hello YouTube, hello Apple Podcasts, hello Spotify, and hello everyone else. Hello we Stitcher. Are, we are talking about the Megalodon. AKA the Carcacholis Megalodon. You're so bad at the at the at the Latin. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't take Latin when I was a little kid. I did, I just did really poorly in it. Carcacholis Megalodon. Why do you <laughs> Hey, everyone. If you didn't know, Moro's bilingual, so that's cool. So, yeah, we're talking about the Megalodon. Everyone has heard about the Megalodon. Maybe seen the movie with the handsome man right here, Jason Statham, right? That was the movie. What's it called, Meg? The Meg. The Meg. The Meg. The Meg. uh, I think it was a terrible movie. I watched it. It was was entertaining. Okay. China put a lot of money into it. So, these were big, scary sharks that lived. (laughs) That is an understatement. These were water nightmares. Yeah, there were water nightmares (laughs) that lived uh, 23 to 3.6 million years ago. That's the early Miocene to the Pliocene epoch. Um, So, (laughs) it's my favorite epoch. The Pliocene? Well, my favorite epoch is Tupac. Okay, so this was a long time ago. Tupac's not dead. Because everything that we talk about that's big and scary is dead and wiped out um and <laughs> <laughs> let's so, talk about how big and scary it yeah, is the megalodon was big so let's talk about how big it was this big it was maximum length estimates were up to 18 meters for those of you in america 59 feet 59 feet it weighed between 50 and 100 tons the average length of these guys was between 30 and 40 feet. So that's know. that's average. That's like the most common. I, I'm going to put big. up a picture of um, a school just, bus. No, just the comparison between the largest specimen and the average. The <laughs> average, the average shark was 30 to 40 feet long. So these okay. are the common megalodons at the time. They're everywhere. Are there mega megalodons? Well, yeah, those were the ones that reach up to 60 feet. So scary. But imagine just a bunch of school buses just swimming around the ocean. That's how big these average megalodons were. (laughs) I'm just picturing, I would love for you to be able to throw together a school bus just swimming in the ocean. I'll do that. Look at it. Look at this school bus swimming in the ocean. Sorry again to the audio people. Oh, sorry. If you're in audio and you want to watch us on video, just go to YouTube, type in Wipe That Wednesday so you can find us. If you're on YouTube and you don't like to see our faces because we're ugly and annoying, go to Apple Podcast hey, and listen to us there. Um, we're fine with what, whatever method of consumption you choose. I do think if they're listening, if you want to get the full experience. Both at the same time. <laughs> the, yeah. Listen to the podcast and ooh, sync it up. It's like... Um, what was that? The movie with the 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 lady who lost her dog in a tornado and the roads that the bricks were yellow. The Wizard of Megalodons and were needed. Pink Floyd. <laughs> Pink Floyd. Wizard of Oz. Megalodons done. needed upwards of twenty five hundred pounds of food a day. If that number sounds familiar, you might have seen, watched, or heard our episode on the Titanoboa. Oh, That's yeah. how big the Titanoboa was. It would so eat it, one a day. It needed one of those a day just to survive. Or roughly the weight of a nineteen eighty seven Chrysler LeBaron, my first car. Is that true? It was my first car. Okay, we'll find the estimate. I'm going to Google it and put we'll, it here. We'll, we'll find a picture of my first car. So, and, yeah. Oh, did, I didn't want to. <laughs> did I cut you off? Well, anyways, I'm going to cut you off. Now, these, these, these monsters of the deep, their bite force was absolutely terrifying. 
forty thousand psi. No, forty thousand pounds. Forty thousand pounds of pressure. <laughs> forty thousand. That's like a bus falling on you. Well, we could quantify it. So it can crush a whale skull, and <laughs> the same way we as people can crush a grape. Also, did you know they this did is surgery? This me eating a grape. They did surgery on a grape. I've seen that with the robotic thing. You get, oh, look, a it's robot a meme. Doing surgery. They did surgery on a grape. Come on, my millennials. Will what get is it. that? I'm a millennial too. It's a meme. Um, so I don't understand what you're talking um, about. <laughs> they were big, and they were they were actually found on every continent except for Antarctica, which is terrifying. They weren't found on the continents. No, they were like in, near uh, them. In the shore because they're they're water dwelling. <laughs> when we were doing our research, Mora was very confused why they were just along the coastlines, why nobody found fossils in the middle of yeah. the ocean. And I was like, hey, it's really hard to find fossils in the middle of the ocean. I felt pretty stupid. <laughs> but I can't I grew and I learned from that situation. I feel stupid a lot. And you know what? Hey everyone out there, it's okay to feel stupid sometimes. Stop hitting the mic. See? Um, stupid. So fossils were found along the coastline. Because you're smart. Is that what I sound like? <laughs> as far back as the Renaissance. You know the Renaissance? The rebirth of Europe? Yeah. <laughs> Michelangelo. Boom. And back then, you know, yeah, we thought... That better know, be a Ninja Turtle, by the way. People people were uh, smart back then, right? No, because they thought that <laughs> Megalodons were dragon or dinosaur tongues. Uh, tongues. Yeah. They thought the earth was flat, man. People were real dumb. Man, uh, until less informed, until Danish naturalist Nicholas Steno or Steno in 1667, Nicky Steens, right? That was off the top of my head. 1667, um, he was like, Y'all are stupid, these are teeth <laughs> from a shark, <laughs> from a shark, and there was like, Nah, shark teeth right here, shark Every bait, ooh ha ha. Everyone didn't believe him because there's no, there's nothing that's that big. How does that work? Well, let me tell you. <laughs> So the name Megalodon obviously comes from Big Tooth. Big Tooth. Because the teeth were big. Big teeth. Get it? Megalodon. I'm a piranha. I just hit my... Anyway, this is a train wreck already. So how, how big were these teeth? They were big, right? They were huge. <laughs> no, they were big. I mean, six to seven inches long is pretty big. It's like... Probably the size of my hand, right? I'm going to go closer so mine looks bigger. Okay. Yeah, the size of, like, our hands. Now, just to give you some perspective, great white sharks, which are terrifying existing sea monsters, their teeth are only two to three inches. So... About the size of a shot glass. This big. Yeah. Is that three inches? I guess. So, giant terrifying teeth... Um, 250 need, of them. Yeah, need a giant terrifying jaw. You could fit in its mouth. Here's a picture of him standing inside of its mouth. Yeah, this is in the Natural History Museum of D.C. I don't know what it's called, but it was in D.C. and it was nat <laughs> Natural History. And there I am. Um, that was fun. He's tall too. He's six what six twelve. Yeah, but I'm behind. The, I'm behind the glass. Come on, it's fine. Six twelve. It's fine. Six twelve. It's stupid. Can't Anyways, uh, so yeah, a jaw that was seven feet in diameter that could fit two hundred and fifty of these terrifying teeth in five rows. No. no. No, thank you. Nope. See, the Titano Boa really freaked you out. This is like a hard no for me. Yeah, but I don't know. Anything that's big and prehistoric freaks me out. No, thank you, Dio. Would you go, would you, oh, I want to go back in time, Jurassic World. Would you go in a cage to see a Megalodon? I'd do it from a helicopter. If you go back in time, there are no helicopters. If I'm going back in time, <laughs> clearly I have the technology to bring things with me and I'm going to bring a helicopter. Okay, so babies were seven feet long. I won that argument. Babies were seven feet long. I'm six <laughs> foot six. Ba baby megalodons. Did they were come? Did they come out? Me. That's so wait. Did, yeah. Were they born the same way sharks are born now? Yeah. In those little I mean, creepy egg sacs. Because all they found was were teeth and some vertebrae, but they found the whole mouth. I thought. No, no, no. They recreated the mouth. Oh, so it's a lie. So the the bones of a megalodon is just pure cart cartilage yeah, I was say, yeah. It's, like, it's, just, it's just cartilage but <laughs> bones yeah so they found teeth are right. also part of the vertebrae it was called the the uh, vertebral centra yeah um that's the part that doesn't deteriorate right here. as fast as cartilage yeah and that's how they were able to determine the size and what the you know of, of course a tooth that big or teeth that big needed a giant jaw to go along with it 
I and a just, giant body. I would just picture just a picture, just single tooth. Not even a single tooth. Just what if they got it completely wrong? It was just this like doofy looking <laughs> fish with giant teeth, and that's why it it became extinct. It's it's it just sunk to the bottom of the ocean because I know they were, were they were they were giant terrifying sharks. Everything was terrifying back then. Yeah, but this was especially terrifying because it can go anywhere it wanted. It wouldn't be bothered by any other animal. It would eat whale skulls. It would eat whole whales. Yeah. And nothing can compete with it. And that was ultimately what killed him. Oh, because if you have an apex predator and you don't control the population. Yeah. So Got basically, uh, if, if, if the megalodon couldn't find large enough prey to consume. It would eat other megalodons. It would. Well, yeah, cannibalism, maybe. But also, oh, absolutely. you can't sustain that diet on smaller prey. What happened? He ate the smaller prey. He, she, it. Yeah, way to assume they, it's gender. They, whatever. Um, <laughs> they found, you know, smaller prey, but natural selection took its course, and the smaller prey evolved to be quicker and try to evade the megalodon. So it's just like that. this kind of fat old man. It ate everything. And then once you eat everything... There's nothing left for you to eat. And, and so you're... my girlfriend tells me every time I go through the fridge at night, she's like, there's nothing left. You ate all of it. And your entire species sorry. Di- sorry, babe. dies out because of it, which goes against our insular gigantism. Thing. Well, insular gigantism doesn't necessarily mean you're going to survive. It's just the, you have better the, odds. You have better which odds it did. of surviving it lived. for a period of time. It lived for, for like Millions 20 million, tw- 20 so million years. Ti- well, I mean, sharks are one of nature's perfect killing machines. Yeah. The way murder. they move, murder fish. You've, we've all seen like the great white shark or, like jumping <gasps> onto Can a you seal. show like a wow? Yeah. Slow mo. Look at that. Sorry again to the audio <laughs> people. Anyway, I'm back. Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> so, yeah, the megalodon, uh, its size and its scary being, it's terrifying, caused. Its own demise. Honestly, it's a thing of nightmares. People think it's related to the great white. It's not. Really? I actually thought it was. It's not. They belong to a different genus. Genus? Genus? Genus, yes. Genus. Correct. And they think that it was more closely related to the mako shark. Really? Yep. Mako sharks are pretty aggressive, right? Which is weird because, which is weird because they look pretty similar. They look very similar. I mean, from the artist renditions that we've seen. Yeah, I guess that's true. Yeah, there's no actual pictures of these things. What if well, they were like, have you seen like in the Discovery Channel? They're like a megalodon alive, a docu series by the Discovery Channel. I do love those, and every time I watch and, like, the them, mermaids too. The mermaid ones, no, but like that or Bigfoot. I'm like, oh come on, maybe at the end of this episode they're gonna unveil, like, like, <laughs> they're gonna think, reveal it. You'd think that a 60 foot long, 50 ton, 100 ton shark would be. Noticeable. You never, you never know, though. I mean, I you, don't believe it. We know more about what. It, what's it going to eat? There's nothing larger. A blue, blue whale. Whales. That's way too big for it. Not necessarily a baby blue whale. Okay, but I feel like it, it wouldn't know, be sustainable. We know more about the surface of the moon than we do about the deepest parts of our ocean. There's a lot of parts of the ocean we don't like know enough about. Okay, cool. I'm just saying. I don't believe in it. it all you those, all those docu fiction things on Discovery Channel, they don't show you anything. It's like, a, we heard a weird noise coming from the depths of the Mariana Trench. Cool. That's not a fucking, that's not a. I'm just saying, unless you have completely searched the entirety of the I Earth. Know. You know what? This seems like a job for Google Earth. It seems like a job for James Cameron. How about he gets Avatar 2 and 3 done and then we'll give him something else to do? Because, yeah. hey, James, you hey, take a long time to make movies. You're late. We want to see uh, if they obtain some unobtainium uh, because we've been waiting way too long. Is that what it was called? Unobtainium. What a stupid I know. Name. Just imagine being in the writer's room for that. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, what do we call it? Uh, it's hard to obtain. Got it. Unobtainium. Yes. How did that person not get fired? I love it. No, that was probably James himself, and no one wanted to call him out on this <laughs> stupid idea. <laughs> and, then, and then he leaves, and everyone's like, that was a really stupid idea. Someone should say something to him. I'm not getting fired. No, no. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways. <laughs> How do we go to Avatar? Um, the Megalodon was terrifying. It was, a, um, it was an ocean nightmare. Oh, wait. I'm getting a... I'm getting a... Whoa. We got, we got mail, guys. What? Yeah. Well, who's it from? So... It's from science to podcast. What? 
How did science and, know where we were? Well, I no, I I, I mailed them. I asked. Oh, them and they because uh, they know a lot more than I do. That's and, true. Um, you know. The oh, name, it's sealed. Good the, thing it's sealed. The name like Megalodon. Megalodon. Is, like, weird, but they were, they actually had some other names in the works. Did they? Yeah, and I, I didn't. That looks that looks official. Yeah, that um, is definitely official. So, ooh, it's printed. Okay, what are the names? So, stop hitting your mic. That'd be cool. <laughs> Megalodon names. These are these are actually these are these are true. This, this is, is science. Sci- this is the scientific community yeah. getting together and trying to name the shark. Okay. So the first one was Megabyte. Come on, science, you're better than that. The second was Great 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 White Shark. Ooh. The third one was William Sharkner. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Shout out to Billy Schatz. The fourth one, um, Megalodon Johnson. <laughs> I had to Google who Don Johnson was. I was like, oh, that's who Don Johnson was. And the fifth one, which uh, actually they went with it for uh, a few months, Finn. I don't get it. <laughs> Is that, 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 that was, he, <laughs> am I missing something? Finn. No, I get it. Like they have Finn. <laughs> Science. So this is from science. Yeah, that is uh, from science. Yeah. <laughs> Two podcasts love science. Anyways, uh, Megalodon Johnson, a scary, <laughs> terrifying animal. Can you give him like a shark head or something? Yeah. And William Sharkner, <laughs> best friends. <laughs> uh, Me- Megalodon. Here's a terrible movie idea. Terrifying animal that lived 23 to 3.6, something, a long time a ago. A long time ago. And uh, it is now. Wiped, wiped out. out you did it this time yeah hell yeah it was kind of funny last time oh. <laughs> Ugh, we go. we'll get better we we'll got this. it anyways um thanks for watching thanks for watching please make sure to subscribe 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 um click links to follow us and listen share with your friends um we would love your feedback too we really would leave so a comment comment uh, below if you guys if you got a better it. name for the megalodon please comment below yes comment below um, the funniest one gets a shout out on next week's podcast I like that. We'll end it right there. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. See you on Monday. Well, we'll see you on Wednesday. See, see you on Wednesday. <laughs> Hear you and listen. So we can access those cameras Monday. on your computer. <laughs> yeah. Don't cover. <laughs> don't cover them. <laughs> Bye, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> what? What? Where's Jeff? He's watching. He's watching. Oh, hey, Jeff. Hey, Jeff.